Hi everyone, I'm a Chinese student currently living and studying in South Korea. The reason why I'm um, videoing this kind of way, I think it's quite sensitive to talk about the human rights issue in North Korea, and I think it's better to do like this way. Personally, I think most of the Chinese people in mainland China has less knowledge regarding human rights in North Korea. Uh, Korea and they less talk about this issue. When they talk about those um, human rights issues in North Korea, Chinese people will literally compare with North Korea living status, try to get certain comfort from them. So it's kind of like a funny talk in China. Most people in China will think it's quite pessimistic regarding North Korean human rights because the leadership is quite strong and I don't think they will allow them to open or vo let them voice out their human rights so most of, pe most of people in China will feel very sad uh, in, When I was studying in school, I never heard about the Zen unification uh, in, North, in North Korea, between North Korea and South Korea and I don't think it's ever discussed or mentioned officially. If Korean unification does happen in the future, I think it's really good for those people who live in the North Park to enjoy a peaceful life and more, have more freedom and have more rights regarding their education and their living status. And also, at the same time, for South Korea, they can utilize the natural resources and also um, become a stronger nations in all of the world. Actually, after 1990, when North Korea tried to implement nuclear weapon and do nuclear tests, the relationship between China and North Korea is getting very worse, and they barely listen to the opinion or suggestions from Chinese side. So. In, within the 10 years, they literally focus on their own strategy and less think about the out strategies from outside or the northeast uh, strategies between China and the North Korea or any kinds of um, political uh, recommendations. So it's kind of like exclusive and they isolate themselves from outside world. When we talk about the North Korean human rights, I think it's not only the issues that are related to North Korea, but also related to China and Korea and even other East Asian country or Asian Asian country all over the world. So I think people in Asia less think about the conceptions of uh, or the definition of human rights. In the first place, I think uh, especially people from China or South Korea, they're supposed to learn what is human rights and how can we supposed to improve this uh, issue? And we have to um, study this issue first. Then we can um, possibly discuss or find a best way or better way to solve this problem, including the human rights situation in North Korea.